Welcome to Oaks, North Dakota. Join us, the North Dakota Corn Utilization Council, as we take a tour behind the scenes and see how North Dakota corn is transforming the world. Harvest is underway in North Dakota, and farmers like Scott German are working diligently to get this year's corn crop out of the fields. I farm down here in Oaks, uh, part of the North Dakota Corn Utilization Council. As you can see behind me, uh, Harvest 2020 is in full swing. Uh, Harvest 2020 is a little bit different from maybe the challenges we faced in 2019. Uh, this year's crop, we had a fantastic growing season. It started off maybe a little slow, but uh, we've had nice heat. We've had good moisture. We've had nice open fall. Our, our corn is drying down nice in the fields. Uh, quality is going to be second to none this year. We should have good heavy test weight, light moisture, uh, very little FM. So excited about the quality of this year's product coming out. Uh, you know, as, as harvest progresses, uh, you know, corn's going to continue to feel dry. And you know, when you can feel dry corn and not mechanically dried, the, the quality just remains at, at a very high level. Combine in the background is a Claw 7, 780. Uh, this combine can harvest about 7,000 bushels an hour. On a 10 hour run, that's 70,000 bushels in one day we can harvest with this machine. Uh, this corn out here is running 230 to 250 bushel an acre, around 18 moisture. So really just a high quality, good corn out here. Uh, it's a 97 day hybrid. You see nice whole kernels. There's no foreign material, there's no broken kernels. Uh, good heavy heavy test weight corn, a good dense kernel, uh, low moisture coming right off the cob. Uh, 2020 corn is going to be just a, a, a high quality corn all the way around. Many hands are needed to ensure the crop is harvested quickly and safely while the weather is favorable. The operation we are visiting today employs the help of a grain cart driver, semi truck drivers, and of course an individual to run the combine. These trucks are destined for Columbia Green Elevator and Rail Terminal in Oaks, North Dakota. This elevator in Oaks is one of four 110 car shuttle facilities owned and operated in North Dakota by Columbia Green. 15 shuttle trains per year are dispatched from Oaks, destined for the Pacific Northwest. A single 110 car shuttle carries 435,000 bushels of corn. As trucks arrive, they are weighed on the inbound scale near the entrance to the facility. Up to 100 trucks deliver grain to this facility every day during harvest season and drivers are paid based on the quality and quantity of each truckload. To determine the quality of the grains, each truckload is measured graded and weighed before it is unloaded at the elevator. Both the front and the back of the truck is probed. This grain is inspected for foreign material and breakage, weighed and evaluated for moisture. The corn being unloaded today was recorded at 56 pounds test weight and at 18 and percent moisture right off the field. At the receiving building, staff open the bottom of the trailers to drain the corn into large pits below before it is stored in a wet bin. 6.2 million bushels of corn and soybeans can be stored at this facility. The corn is then dried in large dryers and transported by a conveyor belt to a corn storage pile. The corn is now ready to be loaded onto trains. When we uh, load a train, it's sold to our sister company, Pacificor. Uh, we make sure the grades are to what they want, number two yellow corn. That gets shipped to the port in Portland where Pacificor actually puts it onto a ship and it goes to China or South Korea or Japan or wherever it's gonna go. An advantage of selling it to our sister company is we only handle it once here and then we handle it again at the port and then it's shipped right to the end user. The second component of this 110 load-off facility is to protect the quality of the grain that we deliver here. So as the trucks pull in, they dump, uh, it goes into cement silos, it's dried if necessary, 
and, and one of the things that uh, they strive for is to protect the quality that we deliver. So by dumping in quantity and loading in quantity, they preserve the quality of the grain that we deliver all the way through the export channels to the PNW. Approximately 150 million bushels of North Dakota corn are transported through shuttle facilities like this one each year to ports in the Pacific Northwest. From there, it is loaded onto barges and shipped to customers around the world. Thank you for watching and for joining our tour of Oaks, North Dakota and the Columbia Green Elevator and Shuttle Facility. To learn more or to connect with the North Dakota Corn Utilization Council, visit our website at ndcorn.org.